How's everybody doing today? We're back at it again, gents, with a fantastic lineup. Uh, this one actually is really hot off the press or, you know, hot out of the presses uh, for this pontification of it. Um, just released and I just got it in today and I saw no reason to wait. I actually have a few other things that were lined up and uh, bumping everything to get this shave in. Uh, I needed it anyway, got a couple of days going, so uh, so it worked out perfectly. So with that said, let's get the lineup for the tools of the trade that we'll be applying tonight. So first up, we're gonna hit this shave with the 1962 Slim Adjustable. It's a beautiful, beautiful revamp job. I know I say beautiful a lot. Uh, from Razor Emporium, I love what they do. Got three that I own already, and I think four is on its way. Uh, I got decked in there, the Balzano blade. It's going to be a nice little semi-Italian shave. Love these blades out of Egypt. I think they did a killer job. They revamped them from Germany, and uh, whatever they're doing in, in Egypt, spot on. Beautiful, comfortable shave. So this guy, fantastic job. Razor Emporium, I think, is the best at it. Uh, truly, I, I love what they do. So this guy will get locked up. Get that nice quarter turn there. And here are your sweet Balzano blades, which I seem to be using a lot of lately. Like I said, they're just fantastic. And then here for the brush, this just came in as well today. Uh, beautiful synthetic uh, medium. This is from uh, Extro, uh, Comese, and uh, it's a tricolor. So again, giving us that nice Italian theme. Uh, again, just got it in, haven't used it. So uh, it does look like it's gonna be a really nice uh, shave for us today. As usual, or for the most part, I've got the Beau Brumel bowl heated up nice down below, and we'll get that guy cranking. Story of the show. Okay, so this just came in, you know from the title, uh, Shave Dad Made Man. Fantastic, from Van Ule, the scents out of this are just beautiful. Uh, it is a croak, so it's very soft. I, I love those florets that they basically pump in here. I think that's just so unique and so cool. Uh, they're the only one I know of that does this. It's basically, you know, their insignia are true to their brand. Ah, oh, man, so fresh. And they said it's the old school barbershop smell. Spot on, spot on. You get that nice talcum. There's the leather picked up in there and, uh, and I do get some nice tobacco floating in the background. And I'm telling you, man, Ben Ulay, they are so good with their scents. And, and this is uh, no exception. It's just fantastic. Nice and soft. So this guy will, it's going to lather up like, a, like an absolute gem. So we'll get this going. This was from uh, the Wet Shaving Store. And uh, I got to give a huge shout out to those guys. Man, what fantastic processing. I placed the order. Order went right through. And then literally it was shipped. Uh, so, and not only that, they sent it along with a, a beautiful little sticker for the company. And then this handwritten note, you know, so nice, you know, thanking you for utilizing the product and um, everybody signed it. I, I, I mean, come on, this just goes a long way. I mean, you, you put this with the processing and the shipping behind it. You got me. I'm in. I, I absolutely would buy more from you. There's just you know, two ways about it. Uh, it's all it takes is just a little bit of extra care and concern for your customer, and you're in. It's really not that hard to figure out, but some people don't. So with that said, four ounces, $19.99. I mean, you know, fantastic. So uh, I'll give you the side shots in case anybody wants to geek out on any of that stuff. So you can see here, very nice, very well done, pretty straightforward, um, but awesome. Again, like I said, it's a crow tallow base got a couple of different oils in there one of the bigger ones being the emu oil so those two combined are going to make for a nice slick ride so let's wet the face and get to it because i think it's going to be a sweet sweet shape so stand by and let me get some in this bowl some of these beautiful little florets that they got here so nice, wow, it's great. I was almost gonna do this shave because of the made man. I was gonna go old school Italian and pull on, put on one of what we used to call uh, the pizza t-shirt. If you guys are familiar with that from the 
New York area or Northeast area. Um, whenever you go in the pizza joints, the guys would always have those, you know, sleeveless tees on. They have other names that are, some are derogatory and I won't uh, be mentioning them here. Uh, feel free to, you know, go at it in the comments down below and say whatever you want to say. Uh, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to venture onto that. So, but I figured I'd keep it normal. So here's the soap we got in here. Hope you guys can catch that. You should be able to see pretty good in there. So, so we got a nice little, you know, nice little splotch in there. Let's get the leftover into the brush. Okay. We wet this guy and we'll start cranking this up. And I, I'm sure with this particular base, this thing's going to be a runner. So don't want to overwater it, that's for sure. But it should take a good amount. We'll throw this guy on a one pass. I like to keep it nice, short, and sweet for you guys. And away we go. That's a really nice brush. So let me just build this up and then we'll go right to the face. Hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you, you know, this is, uh, this is something you take a look at. Whew, man, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Wow. Look at that. That's a nice sheen on there. And I got some pretty good water in this thing, so. But I'm going to build it up. No worries. Not with this soap. Wow. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Look at that thing go. Oh, that's wonderful. Man, it's just like old school, Barbara. It truly is. Man, I feel like I'm getting one of the classic shaves at the barbershop in New York City. Oh, fantastic job. It's just taking me back. Man, this thing performs. Brush is great. Very smooth. Soft. I'm not... Don't excuse me while I'm eating the soap. Uh, not a huge fan of the synthetics. I, I normally like my Badger, so this is actually my first run with the synthetic, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm impressed. I really am. So you can see this is really this soap is a is a gem. I mean, it's it's just got beautiful performance, exceptional lathering, and look at that slickness. Wow. I mean, you know what I'm saying. I mean, you've seen me do this before. Whoosh, mama. So, they truly opened the books to get this recipe in. Oh, that is so nice. Wow. Guys, this is a pitch. <laughs> I'm so, slinging soap here, man. It's fantastic. Oh, the glide, I'm telling you, is just, uh, I, I, you know, you got to feel it. You know what I mean? It's like it's. I could describe it all day long, but man, you got to get it on the face. It is just wonderful. Let's have at it. This is just fantastic. Anybody that's not familiar with Vanulay, I mean, great company. They, they, they really, I love their scents. It's, they really just always capture uh, the scent profile very, very well. Not the easiest thing to do. I mean, it is truly a talent. So. Uh, kudos to them for always finding that way and, and taking their time and, and hitting it. So Gillette 1962, come on, with the Balzano blade, let's get in it. Oh, nice and slick. Wow, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice slickness, leaves a nice feel behind it. It's, it doesn't dry out. It's, it just keeps the smoothness and uh, the blade and the, and the razor, they, they do their job. Phenomenal. Uh, wow. That's, uh, that's really nice. Look at these blades. And I can't say enough about the Razor Emporium uh, revamps. So, so awesome. Beautiful feedback. You're not getting that. My apologies, but ah, the scents are wonderful coming off of this. 
This makes you want to do a two passer. I won't because I won't make you guys, uh, you know, go through the long process. You get the gist of what I'm laying down. Gonna give you the ins and outs. Beautiful, really, just absolutely beautiful. And I don't know what Egypt did with those Balzano blades, but God bless them, man. It's, it's really wonderful. They brought those back to life. Let me clean up. Wow, man, oh man, the smell. Oh, I hope that lasts for a while. I really, really do. That is a wonderful, wonderful smell. Beautiful profile, fantastic lathering, uh, nice slickness left behind. Uh, I'll clean up under here and not bore you guys with that part. Um, but let's do the soap shop. Got to get you that because, I mean, look at the texture on this. I mean, I, I really hope that you're getting that because... That's beautiful, but let's give it the full Monty. I mean, look at this. I mean, decadent, just wonderful. 1999, four ounces, wonderful smell, and it's a really good performer. So I don't know what else, you know, you're really kind of looking to get out of a soap. Oh man, come on. Uh, if it, you know, my recommendation, pardon the water, uh, grab it, grab it while you can. I think they went like hotcakes. I think it sold out pretty damn fast. So, but uh, anyway, there you have it, man. Wet shaving store. You guys are fantastic. Vanulay off the charts. Uh, beautiful, sweet one pass shave. Love it. Guys, be good. Take care. Run and get it. God bless. Take care.